This is post seven. Last night I was watching Sister Sister with my husband and I was like, whoa, I wonder if they are monozygotic or dizygotic twins. I wonder which one it is. And boy has the internet gotten into it. It was a sudden shock to everyone when the twin sisters, Tia and Tamara Maori, made a sudden decision of checking out their DNA tests to know if they were actually identical twins after almost 35 years of togetherness back in 2013. The sudden realization that left everyone's awestruck as the sisters had assumed their whole life to be twins, but they had never gotten a twin zygosity DNA test to prove it. Why would we even need a DNA test? Because they look so identical. Even doctors can't tell if they're identical or fraternal 100% just based on looks, they tested and they share 100% of the same DNA, so they are identical twins, monozygotic. Oh, but the plot thickens. Tamara has a mole on her left cheek, just below her eye, but Tia doesn't. Why? I don't see it, but it's there. Oh, a DNA analyst told them there could be a lot of other reasons why they don't look more alike. Mm, I don't know. There could be some minor trauma during the birth situation. I don't know if that's where you get moles. Yeah, so it turns out they were identical, but not was the case with Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Everyone knows they're fraternal. Oh my gosh. I told my husband that everyone knows that Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are fraternal, and he said, I don't think you know what everyone knows. And I was like, rude, rude. I'm pretty sure this is how conspiracy theories work. Like, I like to think whoever wrote this article in whatever year this article was written was like, no, DNA tests have always existed. And if they haven't taken one yet, just now in their life, after they're 35, they've definitely got some stuff to hide. So I'm not sure. I want to see the documents show me the documents like he maybe this was Donald Trump maybe this was his first attempt does anyone know listen bad joke I would never say it out loud but I did choose where to have my daughter for to give birth to her and I said we can either go the one down the down the way there or the one slightly further but where the president Obama was and my husband said, I don't know why we'd go to Kenya. I don't know where I would go to Kenya to have a baby. It was a good joke, but <laughs> stop.